Hey guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here, bringing you an amusement park review. I haven't done one in a while, but I'm changing things up a bit, doing a grading scale for each category in this park review, and this is for Cedar Point. This is a 2016 edition, and this, and this was according to the 2016 season of Cedar Point and overall my experience there. So, let's start out with the roller coasters, and I'd give them A plus for roller coasters. Millennium Force, Maverick, Top Thrill Dragster, Gatekeeper, those are like the four best coasters there. Valraven is awesome as well. Raptor is a very intense invert. Gemini is a lot of fun. Wicked Twister is fun. Iron Dragon is a pretty neat suspended coaster, especially with its virtual reality experience. Magnum was alright. Ruger was alright. Blue Streak was alright. Had had some nice air time. Mean Street and Corkscrew are definitely the two worst coasters at Cedar Point. They're both pretty bad. And they also have two nice kitty coasters for the little ones. So, roller coasters, just an awesome collection for Cedar Point overall. Very big fan of their coasters. Flat rides. Their flat rides are also really good. Cedar Point has some nice flat rides. Two different drop tower sides. They have a shooting side and a drop side for their drop tower power tower. They also have a classic wind, wind seeker. Those are always fun flat rides. Max Air is a frisbee ride, and Skyhawk is probably my favorite flat ride at Cedar Point with the qu the crazy air time you get on it and its cool restraints. It's a pretty cool flat ride. And Witch's Wheel is their Enterprise ride. So, yeah, some nice flat rides at Cedar Point. And let's move on to the water park. With the water park, I thought it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed being at the water park. But they could have had some more attractions, so that's why I'm giving the 2016 Cedar Point Water Park a C. It was good, but I think they could have had a nicer water park, some better attractions. So, I did enjoy myself at the water park at Cedar Point, but overall I think it could have been a bit better. Modes of transportation around the park, and I'm a big fan of Cedar Point's transportation systems. They have a sky ride that literally goes the same exact path through the midway from the front of the park near Raptor to the middle of the park by Top Thrill Dragster and Power Tower as well as Corkscrew. So the modes of transportation around the park, I'd give an A+. Plus, plus there's, in the back of the park, there's a railroad, train, so there's two modes of transportation for two certain parts of the park, so I'm giving this an A plus for modes of transportation around the park, and I really like the Sky Ride a lot. Even though I didn't get to ride the train, the Sky Ride was just a great quality ride. Pathways. Were the pathways easy to find? Were they hard to find? I thought they were pretty easy to find. At first, it was kind of hard to get to Valraven first thing in the morning. So that was kind of a problem. But I'm giving the pathways an A because after just a day or two at Cedar Point, the pathways are very easy to navigate and it's super easy to find your way around. It's pretty easy to find Wicked Twister, Gatekeeper. If you're in the front of the park, it's super easy to find attractions. In the back of the park, the middle to back of the park where Top Thrill Dragster is, and back towards Gemini, it's pretty easy to find those rides. And on the left side where Rougarou is and Millennium Force, that area is pretty easy to find attractions. And the Wild West area of the park where Maverick is, it could be a bit harder, but still fairly easy. So pathways, they're great. I'm giving Cedar Point's pathways an A. The cleanliness and this is how clean Cedar Point is and this is a clean place I'm giving Cedar Point an A their water park could have been a bit nicer but the cleanliness overall has been is a good quality to Cedar Point and it's just a great thing about it operations and this is like Cedar Point's great thing about them their operations are amazing a plus in my opinion 
gatekeeper. Like, they run three trains on it all the time. And they literally dispatch the trains in, the, the trains in like, 20 seconds because they're making everyone go super fast into their seats, which I like. It's a great system. I know on some of the coasters, they could have slower operations, like on Gemini or Blue Streak, but overall, the operations were great, especially on Gatekeeper and Top Thrill Dragster ran six trains, which is crazy. But overall, I'd give Cedar Point an A+. This place is just awesome. This is a pure, amazing park. They have so many great qualities to them and so much to do in so little time. Their coasters are amazing. Their flat rides are amazing. It's a clean park. It's pretty easy to find the rides. And it's in a great, great location. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.